I think that's her. 10 đồng cho người bố. We've uncovered a brazen, elaborate immigration scam. I should be told not to look at There's a scandal waiting to be exposed. A year ago, I stumbled across some strange posts on social media. The posts were in Vietnamese groups, supposedly for people trying to find jobs, and the same words kept cropping up. Almost all of these posts mention Red Book. The Red Book is basically a British passport. These groups appear to provide an illicit marketplace to get hold of a UK passport. It involved pregnant migrant women without a visa finding British men. One name kept cropping up, someone called T. Kim, who said they could help. We decided to get in touch. We posed as a young pregnant woman from Vietnam in the UK illegally. Kim says she can help us and wants to meet. We send a researcher on our team undercover. I can see our undercover researcher just sitting outside. No sign of the woman yet. After almost an hour, the woman finally turns up. Em có baby nha, em không biết làm nào tốt nhất cả. Em không lo cái chuyện là sáu lý sở cũng có sổ. Thứ là sức có sổ. Kim says she can find a British man to pose as the father. This would give the baby automatic British citizenship, regardless of the mum's nationality. She could then apply to get a family visa to stay in the UK too. Kim says the next step is for us to meet the potential fake dad. We would need to give a large deposit to secure the father. We're obviously not going to hand over any cash, so we tell Kim we'll think about it. This fake father scam is incredibly elaborate, it is very sophisticated, incredibly difficult to police, and in a way it's just proof of how desperate these women are and the incredible lengths they're prepared to go through in order to secure the right to remain in the UK. Last year, the government granted nearly 5,000 family visas to other dependents, a category which includes those applying as parents of British children. We don't know how many of those were given to people who've cheated the system, but we managed to track some down. One of their stories is being portrayed by an actress. Someone I knew introduced me to a man who agreed to be my baby father. He was uh, 30 year older than me. It cost £9,000. He came with me to the hospital when I left with the baby. Uh, and one more time when he took us to get baby birth certificate. Then she got her child's British passport and a visa for her to stay in the UK too. During the whole process, uh, I, I didn't have much contact with the man. Immigration lawyer Harja Bungle says he's seen this happening across different communities. He's even had people calling his immigration phone in TV show, telling him they've done it. Here she drops a bombshell. But I got to the side, you don't know. It's shocking, isn't it? This scam could, has a potential to be widespread, potentially in the thousands. It's not a one off, and it's been going on for years. But the Home Office has just not picked up on this. And there's a scandal waiting to be exposed. We keep hearing about a prolific fake dad service operating across the UK, known by some as The Ring. We've been told that you can get a British dad for a price. It's supposed to be as easy as ordering a pizza. You just call up and order. Ah, uh, hello. Bà đây mình hỏi cái dịch vụ tìm bố nhận bố á. 
À, có người cho mình cái điện thoại này thì bây giờ em có người trên nhân đàn đấy thì em chưa chắc tại vì có hai người đang hỏi thì để em xem như thế nào để báo chị với giá 11 đồng The man called himself Ty. He soon gets back in touch saying he's got a fake dad and wants to meet. Our undercover researcher is posing as a pregnant woman without a visa. I wasn't expecting three guys to turn up. This is Ty, the ringleader organizing the operation. Tuan, he's translating Vietnamese to English for Andrew, the British man born in London who'll pose as a dad. He looks like he's smiling, he looks like he's completely on board with this. The fake dad now wants to talk about money. I just want to confirm. Yeah. So basically, obviously, the total is 10, but one goes to the finance screen and then one goes to the other finance screen. Yeah, so, so basically, one needs to you guys, yeah. to me. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah. The ringleader Ty called us more than 20 times after the meeting. With the help of a translator, it's time for me to speak to him. Hello, is that Ty Do? Yeah, welcome. My name is Divya Tawa. I'm a journalist for BBC News. We've got evidence of you running an illegal immigration scam. We have evidence of you of you running this illegal immigration scam. He's just put the phone down. All the people we've spoken to involved in the fake father's racket have been confident about being able to dupe the authorities. So how can it be policed? If a child claims to be British or have a British parent and the other parent doesn't have a visa, that should ring alarm bells anyway. That should be a perfect case for them to say, right, can we have a DNA test, please? That's why people are doing it, because there's no fear of any repercussions. The Home Office says it has measures in place to prevent and detect immigration fraud. It told us caseworkers receive fraud awareness training and a range of checks are conducted during the processing of applications. Where we need to establish who the natural father is, additional evidence may be requested. Meta, the company that owns Facebook, says it doesn't allow the solicitation of birth certificate fraud on Facebook and says it will continue to remove content that violates its policies. We contacted T. Kim, Tuan and Andrew about the evidence we had. None of them have responded. The fake father's racket appears to be an open secret in different migrant communities. And it looks like it's been happening for years under the radar of the authorities. <laughs>